Elizabeth Schoff's terrifying ordeal began when she was abducted by Vincent Filia, a man posing as a police officer. On September 6, 2006, in Lugoff, South Carolina, Elizabeth was taken into the woods where Filia disoriented her and led her to a hand-dug underground bunker. For 10 harrowing days, Elizabeth was subjected to physical and psychological abuse. Despite the horror, she remained calm and devised plans to survive and escape. Elizabeth's survival was marked by her quick thinking. She left clues like her shoes and strands of hair, hoping searchers would find them. She engaged Philia in conversations, humanizing herself to gain his trust. Over time, she managed to convince him to let her use his cell phone. After 10 days, Elizabeth used Philia's phone to send a text to her mother and friends while he slept. This crucial act led to the police tracing the phone and discovering her location. The authorities were initially skeptical, but eventually, they pinpointed the bunker's location and rescued Elizabeth. Vincent Filia was arrested carrying weapons and was charged with multiple crimes, including kidnapping and impersonating a police officer. He pleaded guilty and was sentenced to 421 years in prison. Elizabeth's bravery and resilience became an inspiration to many. Her story has been covered extensively in the media, including on Dateline NBC and in the Lifetime movie Girl in the Bunker. Her courage in the face of unimaginable horror continues to be a testament to human resilience and strength.